And we are back here with Weymouth once again on FM20. Very exciting episode today. We are in the FA Cup quarterfinal for the first time in our history. And we will be taking on Chelsea to kick off this episode. And then in the second game, we are facing off against a different London team. It is Arsenal in the Premier League. Definitely going to be a very, very tough episode today. But if we can pull off a shock upset against Chelsea to make the semi-final of the FA Cup, it would be an incredible achievement for our team. We are giving it our all today to get the victory. Switching over to the schedule view, we played two games since last time. First up was a 3-1 victory against Southampton. Amici, Marsiler, and Tom Brumer getting our three goals in that game. And that is Christian Marsiler's very first goal for the club. An exciting moment for him. And a very important three points to the Terras. Then it was a thrilling 3-3 draw against West Brom. Disappointing that our defense was a bit in shambles that game. But it would have been an exciting game for the neutrals. Unfortunately, we are all about the Terras here. And we gave up three goals in that game. Need to improve, especially today against Chelsea. But Amici again getting on the score sheet and Duarte and Stockbridge getting the two others. Stockbridge coming off the bench and getting the equalizer in the 86th minute. Very happy with his contribution off the bench there. So here is the league table and you guessed it. We are in 15th place. We were actually in 14th place. But after that draw against West Brom, Everton moved back ahead of us on goal difference. So still very tight down here. But the distance is growing between us and 16th place along with the relegation zone. So we are trending in the right direction. Team news today. We have our strongest side available. So we are going for it today. Hopefully Chelsea aren't and it gives us a better chance. But we are going to be away at Stamford Bridge, taking on a very, very tough Chelsea side. Let's see if we can find a way, get a victory, and move on to the semifinals. The teams are coming out of the tunnel, and kickoff is underway here, and we're going straight into a highlight. Let's not concede an opening goal here. Chelsea are a very, very dangerous team. And the highlight looks like it is them. I am not liking the looks of this. We cleared it, but it falls to Almeida, who has a shot, and it falls to Tammy Abraham, who buries that one. Dang. They get the opening goal 23 seconds into the game. Not the start we were looking for. That is a rough, rough start, and they have a corner now. It's headed out by Schlotterbeck, but it falls to Kovacic, who has a shot. Oh, Gomez with a big save, and it's out for another corner. But thankfully, that one appears to come to nothing. It looks like we have a highlight. Us on a corner, Yoshida whips it in. It's headed away. We're getting counterattack now. Not good. It's been all Chelsea here in the first 10 minutes. Oh no, not Abraham again. Oh no, it is a nightmare scenario for us. We are 2-0 down within 10 minutes. Wow. This is bad. Very, very bad. It really could not have been a worse start for us. We gotta find a way to get a goal here in the first half. We looked like we were about to have a highlight, but it didn't happen, and now Chelsea have their own highlight. And it's 3-0. Almendra with his third goal of the season, putting Chelsea 3-0 up. Wow. That is extremely rough. And it's another highlight for Chelsea. Is it about to be 4-0 before halftime? Oh, they hit the post. God dang, this is rough. 
It's finally halftime and we're 3-0 down. I don't see us finding any way back into this game. We are just being outclassed so, so badly here. First highlight of the second half, and you guessed it, Chelsea on the ball. Abraham hits the crossbar. We are living on an edge. And another highlight for Chelsea now. We nicked it off him. Go on, Amici. Go on, Amici. He plays it inside. Yoshida has a shot blocked. Oh, man. We're still on the ball. We play it all the way back to Gomez. Can we at least get a goal in this game? Please. Go on, Amici. He's on the ball again. Cuts inside. Go on. He cuts inside even more. He has a shot and it's saved. Oh, man. Any side of the keeper. He hit that with some velocity. I think it would have gone in. The ensuing corner is headed to the keeper as well. Ah, uh, Chelsea. Another opportunity here. Oh, go on, Pacquiao. Are you kidding me? What the heck was that, Marsiler? Hello, darkness, my old friend. Wow. Okay, well, he's getting subbed off. Obviously, he's not mentally in this game anymore. So off he goes. And we'll also bring on Stockbridge for Yoshida. Not that I think it's going to make any difference in this game. It's been an absolute nightmare for the Terras today. Well, full time is here. And it ends 4-0 to Chelsea. Tammy Abraham with a hat trick. And Augustin Almendra with the other goal in the game. What a nightmare we had in this game. So our FA Cup comes to a disastrous end today in the quarterfinals. We just did not show up to the game and Chelsea really flex their class on us today. Hopefully our next game against Arsenal won't be as painful as this one. And we are back just about to take on Arsenal here. And we got some more transfer news. Things you love to see. We have... Clabinho joining us at the end of the season for 1.7 million. He is a 19 year old Brazilian winger. I'm liking his potential for sure. For 1.7, definitely worth a chance of bringing him here to our club. His mental attributes and personality definitely brought my attention to him and make me really keen on having him join our team. With his personality and 17 determination, I think he has a real opportunity to develop really nicely. Probably will send him out on loan this upcoming season, but I'm very happy about Clabinho joining our team at the end of the season. Now back to our current team. Uh, we just went on an international break, so we do have some rotation due to some tired legs out there. McKenna comes in for Kokebeck, and Stockbridge comes in for Duarte. We also have Tom Brumer leading our line today. Uh, Rodolfi kind of in a bit of a slump the last couple of games, and Tom Brumer deserves an opportunity today, as he has been very phenomenal in the last couple of games. He has had a chance. So... We are about to take on Arsenal at the Emirates. Can we bounce back after that embarrassing showing against Chelsea? And we are underway here. Come on, you Terras. Early corner for Arsenal. Not what we want to see. We defend the initial corner very well. We force them back, but they're still on the ball here. Oh, they're through on goal, and it's a goal for Lozano. Ah, uh, not what we wanted to see. All right, we have a highlight here. It is us on the ball. Let's keep a hold of it here and create an opportunity, but instead we turn it right on over. Oh, no. It'd be another long day in the office for us today, boys. Oh, no. 
Oh, good tackle by Stockbridge. But Arsenal's still on the ball here. Uh-oh. Could be dangerous. Get there. Oh, headed just over. Free kick. Yoshida whips it in. Oh, McKenna. Nope. It was a Schlotterbeck who had his header go just over. Another highlight here. Arsenal on the ball. Could be dangerous. It's a tight angle. James McKenna, what are you doing? Completely unnecessary. Oh, my gosh. And it's 2-0 to Arsenal. James McKenna. Stupid, stupid challenge. Ah, oh, no. Very, very tough for us here. Going into halftime any second now. We're going to be 2-0 down. At least we're doing better than the Chelsea game, but not by much. First highlight of the second half. Once again, it is us on the ball off of a goal kick. We do much better this time, at least holding on to the ball for a little while, but there's the turnover. Arsenal could make us pay for our sloppy play right there. Oh no. Big save by Gomez, and it was offside either way. Uh, I think it's time to make a couple of substitutions. Let's see what we can do here. So we brought on Lewis Howe for Yoshida, and Rodriguez comes on for a Makingo. Not sure it's going to make much of a difference, but both of those players are coming on for us. Oh, we have a free kick. Rodriguez whips it in, but it's claimed by the keeper. Oh dear. Can we find a consolation goal? Oh, oh, penalty. Oh, not quite, but we got the ball back. Go on, Amici. Go on, Amici. Oh, that's gone in somehow. What was the keeper doing there? He made no effort to try and block that, but we will take it. Xavier Amici punishes Arsenal off of a sloppy, sloppy play out of defense. And we're right back into the game now. We're going to make a substitution. We're going to bring on Sam Greenwood for Pacquia. See if we can push for an equalizer here in the last 20 minutes of this game. And we have a highlight here. And we're still on the ball. What do we got going on here, guys? Good. Switch a play over to Sam Greenwood. Let's go. Go on, Sam. Aww. Oh, looking to score against his former club, and now Arsenal have a corner, and it is a goal. Dang it. Off of a corner. Don't want to see us conceding from those. That is going to be the game over. I don't see us getting two goals here in the final ten minutes now. We will go very attacking here, and we have a highlight. Go on, Broomer. Oh, fairly easy in the end for the goalkeeper. And it's another highlight with Arsenal on the ball. Since we've gone very attacking here, it could be a fourth goal for Arsenal now. Oh, he's overrun that. Come on. Tom Broomer. Stretch those legs out. Oh, good move there. He's going to have a shot, and it goes into the side netting. And the full-time whistle has been blown. It ends 3-1 for Arsenal. We definitely had some opportunities in the game, but Arsenal far better in front of the goal than us, and they put three past Gomez. So at the end of the day, we are still sitting in 15th position. Everton losing their game against Chelsea today still means we are even on points with them. Only behind them due to the goal difference. Now we're at the stage of the season where we don't have too much to play for. I don't see us falling down into that relegation battle. So chances are we will be playing most of the season offline. And we'll probably end up coming back for the final two games of the season. And wrapping it up there. Since there's nothing really to play for, uh, there's no reason to to draw out this season any longer but if anything changes i would certainly bring you back for that if you have enjoyed this episode today 
go ahead and leave it a like down below. I know it wasn't the performances we were looking for today, but still very proud of our team for making it into the quarterfinal of the FA Cup. And if you are new around here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos coming to the channel. And until next time, it's been your Boyd147.